Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel, The Franklin Family 8. In this video, I'm bringing you summer vacation of last year. I think we went the last week of August, if I'm not mistaken, of 2022. We went to Orlando and we ended up doing five parks in five days. Big mistake, never doing that again in my life. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, so this is the main door when you come in. Um, as soon as you come in the door, this is the resort in Florida. Um, here's the dining room table. Don't mind the mess, y'all, because we are on vacation and I forgot to record when we got here. Over here is where Aaron's sleeping, which is the pull-out couch and that. And then it goes to the outside. That's our balcony. And those are, are, that's an emergency door, which is cool. Hold on, I'm gonna show you the kitchen. So, we just keep that closed because right now we're about to go to the pool. It's our last day here, and the kid, the older kids went to go do stuff. Loloisa, Miss Mary, and Aaron went to go eat. So you can tell this is the living room. There goes the TV, y'all. Another little couch, bed. More shoes for my kids. This is our kitchen. I requested a full on kitchen because I was going to cook. Um, we did do a couple meals on here. I uh, even used the oven. Katie made pizza. Has a full on oven, cabinets, um, the sink. Right now, I got the dishwasher going with some dishes. That and then has a full on fridge. Uh, we have to empty it out before we leave, so all that needs to be used by today. And then full-on freezer. When we got here, me and Kenan and Ms. Mary went to Walmart, did grocery shopping. All right, I'm going to take you to the bedrooms. So you go this way. Oh, it has a little stools on the barn. This is the room that the kids have been using. They are hot mess. But this is the room, their TV, closet, kids' luggage. There's a door over here to go to the kids' bathroom. And that's the shower. Their sink is a hot mess. And then you come out through the hallway because there's the Jack and Joe bathroom. And I also wanted laundry inside because it was easier to do laundry. So I'm doing laundry right now. And then you come to the master bedroom, which is a hot mess. And this Mary and Kaden's makeup area and stuff. This is the master bathroom sink tub and toilet I'm trying to go fast y'all and then you come back over here a master bedroom me and lily have been sleeping in here i already started packing the twins back so what i did was as i wash i packed so i'm just doing laundry right now pre-packing laundry right there closet but yeah i will record myself when I finished cleaning the villa because I'm going to clean before we leave so I can see how it looks. All right, peace for now. Take okay, you guys. So this is Lily in the bed. We, she shared her bed with me. Um, We got there late at night on Friday, I think it was. So we went, we went the last week of August. We got there late at night. Even though we left North Carolina at 10 o'clock in the morning, there was accidents everywhere. The first park I'm showing you is Aquatica. Like I said, we did five parks in five days. I was beat by the time I got home. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can't do better.
Yes, ma'am. Thank you. the last pictures that we took at Aquatica basically we did one park per day we did it from we will get up at six o'clock in the morning to get ready eat breakfast and then we didn't get back to the resort till like nine o'clock at night we were there from opening to close after we got done with Aquatica we went home and we made tacos for dinner then Liliana was getting ready for bed and then the next park the next day was Bush Gardens so this is us walking into the Bush Gardens. We had to park and walk. Um, you could have waited for the little trolley bus to come get you, but we didn't want to wait. We just walked. At each park that we went to, I did buy the reusable drink cups because they were a lifesaver. It was like 104 degrees, I think, when we went to Bush Gardens. There were much rides for the twins to get on, so we basically spent most of our day at the Splash Pad, and then we went to build a bear and Lily and Lucas got a bear. Now, most of the stores and the restaurants had AC, so like I said, there weren't many rides that the twins could really enjoy at Busch Gardens. The older kids now had a blast. They rode all the, all the roller coasters. Um, they ate food. We split up in the parks, and then when it was time to meet up at the end, we all came back and had like a meet meetup location. And then this is us at Universal. I think this was day three. I can't remember how we did the parks yet. So we went to Universal, which by the way, I love Universal. The twins got to ride every single ride that we got on except the big roller coaster, even though Lucas was giving me a hard time because he was trying to get up in there. But we took pictures with like SpongeBob and Gary and all that. They had a blast. I do recommend Universal if you have little kids. I mean, we rode the Men in Black ride. We rode the E.T. ride. Um, I didn't get to get in Transformers. We were trying to get in the... Hogwarts ride but it was a three hour wait ain't nobody got time for that I do recommend if you do this that you have an express pass because them lines was off the chain and it was hot out there This ride Liliana didn't want to do, the one for the Simpsons, but she did do the E.T. one. Like we had to kind of convince her to get on some rides, but once she got on the E.T. ride, it was the first one she rode, she was out. She wanted to get on everything, and she had a, she had a blast. Um, like I said, I really enjoy Universal. They had little parades with the little movie characters and TV characters was coming out there and, you know, doing a little dance, singing songs. We enjoy that. Uh, I did buy lunch at the park and then when we got out of the park at night, we went and ate dinner. I'm just walking around.
And like I said, we were at each park that we went to from opening to close. Um, Universal, after it gets dark and almost it's time for them to close, they do like a grand finale ceremony, which was amazing. The kids love it. And this is us about to ride the Fast and the Furious ride. Not my favorite ride, by the way. spent with friends and family. And now, as our day comes to an end, we gather to relive these incredible moments in our cinematic celebration.
ancient mechanical beings. But then came the war between the Autobots who fought for freedom and the Decepticons who dreamt of tyranny. Fools, you can't escape Megatron. Your planet belongs to me. After we got out of Universal, we went on the boardwalk, we walked around, and we ate at one of the rest, the Mexican restaurant there. The food was good. Then we came back to the hotel, took a shower, got ready for bed because we had to be up at 9 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning to make sure everybody was 
ate breakfast and ready to go to be out the door by 8 30 the latest because we were trying to be the first ones in the park um the next park we went to was adventure island i ended up getting tickets through the idemi uh website the military website which i got a ticket basically i the bundle was one day at sea world one day at bush gardens and one day at adventure island adventure island was not my favorite i don't think i ever want to go back there again aquatica is a better water park in my opinion the kids kind of was iffy about it this is loisa doing homework she took her homework with her because her school's her college classes had already started i got burned and then we're going to go to sea world anyways y'all we're getting to the end of the video i'm going to leave you with a little bit of footage of the sea world and then the villa after we cleaned it and we checked out um sea world was amazing we had a blast we watched the orca show which by the way kind of scarred lily and lucas because i did not know that when you sat at the bottom it was going to be a splash zone we got splashed every five seconds but I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope you guys like it. Share, comment, hit the bell so you can notify every time we upload. If you haven't liked our channel, go ahead and like it. We love you guys. Bye! In here? No. morning I we just finished cleaning the villa the kids helped out a little bit I didn't do a deep cleaning because um we're running out of time but I wanted to show you guys how we're leaving it um the kids didn't give me these in time so they're still dirty I didn't get to wash them because they didn't hand me stuff when I asked them to okay. but this is how we're leaving the master uh, I washed all the towels that they gave us. I know they're going to rewash it. I even made the beds. That's just me. I don't like leaving the place a mess when I leave. My kid says I'm weird because of that. That's empty. But yeah. All right. So the master bedroom looks good. This is the final look. Heading out the door. All right, kids, bathroom. Once again, they didn't bring me everything, so that's still there. I didn't get to wash it before I left. But it looks way better. I had the kids wipe the sink down. laundry area i think the only thing i forgot to do was empty out the loot trap but i don't got time for that i gotta go because we gotta check out but everything got cleaned out i put every that basket was here when we got here so i put everything back swept the floors and they we're coming into the kids room that they slept in and like i said kids made their beds i know they're gonna change the sheets but that's just me Empty closet. Let's check this drawer. Yep, completely empty. And dining room put back together. Living room put back together. I'm making sure we haven't left anything behind. Chargers, plugs, computer, laptops, and all yada yada. But everything looks good. I got 15 minutes to check out. Um, kitchen looks way better. I didn't get a chance to wash their pot holders and their rags because I ran out of time. But dishwasher is empty. I didn't wipe down the inside of the fridge. I only wiped out the outside because I ran out of time. So I feel bad because I'm leaving that right there. But it's okay. I'm not leaving anything else a mess. Fridge is empty. The freezer, I wiped down the stove, swept, put everything back where it belongs. So, peace. Now comes the long drive back to North Carolina. Love you guys. Bye.